hello guys welcome to my youtube channel so um if this is your first time watching my youtube video please check the subscription button and subscribe for more videos so today's tutorial is um on applied electricity that is total resistance and voltage drop so when you talk about total resistance well in my previous video i've done videos on how to calculate for the total resistance of parallel and also in series so with voltage drop, as in my previous video, I talked about the current divider rule, which deals with uh, the current divider rule, it deals with the parallel, and the voltage drop deals with the series. This is because in, uh, in the series, they have the same current flowing through them, but they have a different voltage drop. So the application of voltage drop is based on the series, that's the resistors that are in series. So we have a question that I'm going to uh, we're going to solve together, and based on that, we are going to understand the principle of the total resistance and also the voltage drop. So, the question is: We said what? Find the value of the current in all resistors of the circuit below using total resistance and also voltage drop principle. Note: I'm not using current division rule here. So, my previous video I did on current division rule, but here the video is. About we using the total resistance and what the current that's the voltage drop principle. So there's a diagram. So the diagram of uh, what you're about to do. So I have a breakdown of it. So there's a ninth diagram given to us for us to find the value of the current in each resistor. So it means that we are going to find the value of, um, as in, with this resistor, we are going to find the current in it, find the current in this, find the current in this, find the current in each of the resistors, right? We using voltage drop principle, and as I said, the voltage drop principle it deals with the arrangement of resistors in series. That is. They have different uh, voltage but the same current. So how do you go about this? Now, when you check my previous video, I did a video on short circuit. So when you check this diagram, I can see, we can see a little bit short circuit here. When the uh, the, uh, the current move from the main source, you can see that there will be a short circuit as in this is a short circuit. So in main sense, it means that we are going to eliminate some of the resistors because they are in short, they have been short circuited because of the short circuit present. So we know that this resistor, that is this resistor and this resistor will be short circuited. This is because current move through less resistance, that is a part of theoretically zero resistance. Yes, so with that, it means that this resistor and this resistor will be short circuited from the diagram. So in originally that when you are drawing the diagram in uh, in a new way, you are going to exclude this resistor and also this resistor. That is remaining, that means that we are going to have this and this will be eliminated and this will be eliminated. So now let's get to business. So for us to find the current in each of the resistors, we need to find something which is, we need to find the total resistance that is we applying the parallel and also the series rule as in my previous video i talk about the parallel and also the series how to calculate for them and so we are going to apply it here so we're finding the total resistance we know that when you check the breakdown of this you know that this and this will be in series because when you distribute the current you know that they'll have the same current passing through them yes yeah, so if they have the same current passing through them it means that they are in series and they will be in parallel with this 4 ohm and this also will be in parallel with the 2 ohm and also it will be in series with the 1 ohm so as you can see that is 3.5 ohms plus 3 ohms will be in parallel with 4 ohms which also will be in parallel with 2 ohms plus 1 ohm which will be in series so when you try to do it correctly you try to solve this you add them that is 6.5 being parallel with 4 ohms, it will be 6.5 times 4 ohms, all over 6.5 plus 4 ohms. That is still being parallel with 2 ohms and series with 1 ohm. So when you do it, 
you are going to get 2.4761 ohms times 2 ohm because it is in parallel with the 2 ohm and also plus 2 ohms so after you do it in series so when you do that the total resistance for this will be 2.1063 ohms this is because some of the resistors has been short circuited that is we've short circuited the 5 ohm and the 7 ohm resistor so now we have the total current or oh, sorry the total resistance so as far as we have the total resistance now we can use that to find for the current of each so you know that from the principle you know that v is equal to i times the total right so as far as you know that the total resistance is that we can find the total current moving through it so the total current will be that's the 25 volts given to us all over the 2.1063 ohms that's the total resistance which will give you so the total current moving through the circuit is 11.8682 ampere so now we have the total current so this total current is going to help us get the current so it means we are going to but we are not going to use current division rule here so we are going to use voltage drop as we need to find each voltage that's voltage drop principle that is v is equal to v1 plus v2 to find the total so when you do that now it means that if the current the total current is 11.8682 ampere it means that that will be the total current moving through the one ohm resistor because when you check the source when you check the diagram you can draw the diagram down and you listen to the explanation when you check the diagram from the main source it passes through the one ohm resistor it means that the total current will surely pass through the one ohm resistor so now we have the current in one ohm resistor to be 11.8682 ampere so now as far as we have that one now that one will aid us to find each so using the principle of voltage drop as you know that we are trying to find the voltage in one ohm because we know the current and that will aid us to find each of the current in each of their resistors so we know that v is equal so we are trying to find the voltage in one ohm so v1 as in v1 is equal to that is v1 this is the resistor times the current which will give you 11.8682 volt it means that that is a voltage passing through the one ohm resistor so we now we have the voltage passing through the one ohm resistor right so it means that we are going to find now you know that the total voltage in this or the total source that the pdf is 25 voltage so you know that 11.8682 is passing through the one ohm resistor so for that we have a formula for the voltage drop that is v total is equal to v1 plus v2 which will give you 25 volt is equal to 11.8682 volt plus v2 we are trying to find v2 it means that the v2 will pass through either the 4 ohm resistor or the 2 ohm resistor so we distribute so when you do that correct way our v2 is now 13.1318 volts so that's our v2 so it means that only the 1 ohm resistor is going to take the 11.8682 volt so we are going to share the rest to the resistors now let's know something since 2 ohms and 4 ohms are in parallel it means that they will have the same voltage drop as in different current but the same voltage drop so with this idea we can go on and solve that we can find the current in 2 ohm resistor that is i that is a 13 which is the which is the um the v2 over 2 that is the 2 ohms to find the current in the 2 ohm resistor that is why uh, the current will be giving us the 6.5659 ampere let me come again so we have 6.659 ampere because since 2 ohm and 4 ohm resistors are in parallel they will have the same voltage drop so the remaining voltage drop is 13.1318 volt so they will still have the same voltage drop so when you use that one to in the fork we are going to have 3.28295 ampere so it means that the current moving through the 2 ohm resistor is 6.659 ampere and the current moving through the 4 ohm resistor is 3.28295 
ampering. So now we find uh, when you check the diagram, we've gotten the uh, I O one that is the uh, the one ohm resistor, the current for that. We've gotten the current for the two ohm resistor, and we're getting a current for four ohm resistor. So let's get the three point five and the three ohm resistor. Now, no, this is the three point five and the three ohm resistors are in series. They will have the same current. As in, we know that the total current moving through is what eleven point eight six eight two volt um, ampere. Sorry. So as far as we know this, we can sum the current together. That is, we are summing the current so that it will sum up to the total current coming from the source. That is the total current passing through the 1 ohm resistor, which is 6.656. When you add them, you're going to get the, this one and you subtract it from, that is 11.8682 ampere. So when you do that the correct way, the total or the current passing through the 3.5 and the 3 ohm resistor we we'll have the same current, so that will be 2.02 .02 ampere. For you to confirm that your answer is correct, you try adding the current that you find that you created the total current, which is 11.8682. So when you add the total current, you know that when you add this and this and this, you know that it will give you the total current moving from the source. Note, you shouldn't add 11.868 to it because the 11.868 is passing through the one. This is because the one is close to the source. So when it moves from the source, it's passing through the one ohm resistor. Yes. So thank you very much for this tutorial. Please um, subscribe and hit the notification for new videos. Thank you very much.